Hey guys, April Finley with MattAndAprilFinley.com here and I just want to shoot a quick video to show you how I'm getting some awesome background images to use for my Instagram posts. So on the screen here, you guys, I have um, one of my Instagram accounts pulled up and this is the account that I focus the most on. Um, I have a couple of other ones that I use just for training purposes or um, just experimenting on, uh, on Instagram with. And as you can see, I have over 11 and a half thousand followers on Instagram. And I've been able to do that in just a few months time. Um, I haven't even been on Instagram a full year yet. And I think that one of the reasons why I'm getting such a great following on Instagram is because of the uh, types of images that I'm posting. So the, the key to posting great Instagram images is to always provide value to your audience and, and to make images that are going to capture their attention and have them hungry for more so that they're returning to your account time and time again. And uh, just to kind of show you guys a little bit of um, a little sample of the type of posts that I do on Instagram, um, I do uh, posts that talk about uh, you know you know motivating people, getting them into action in their business. Um, I talk, I do marketing tips and mindset tips. Um, like this one is about branding yourself online. Um, and here is a great inspirational quote uh, that I did the other day. So um, those are just kind of some of the things that I'm going to show you on Instagram. And so let's get started. So um, the, the first step to having a great Instagram post is to have a, an awesome background image. One place that you can go to look for background images is on Google. Um, so let's say that I want to use an image of a sunset in my post. So I would just go to Google and type image sunset. And as you can see, Google is giving me some results. So I'll just tap on images and go full screen. Wow, look at these awesome images. There's some really great stuff here. Um, so you can kind of browse through those. Um, you do want to make sure though that you're not using any copyrighted photos. Um, if I find an image that's not copyrighted that I want to use, um, I just take a screenshot with my phone. And then that image will show up in my camera roll. Okay. Another uh, great resource that I use, and I actually use this the majority of the time, is an app called HD Wallpapers. And I use HD Wallpapers because it serves the same purpose. It gives me amazing images for um, the backdrops of my Instagram posts. And it's also a, a free app that um, I can use without uh, breaking any copyright laws. So there's the HD Wallpapers icon. You can download it in the Google App Store or the iTunes App Store. And um, once we get it open here, I can show you uh, an example of some of the things that we have going on here in HD Wallpapers. Um, so this is under the abstract category. And um, I just love these images. They're, they're, so, they're so cool and colorful. Um, really just gets your mind going of thinking about you know the different ways that you can use these to create awesome posts on Instagram. Down below here you have your category selection. So you can just tap that and look for some different um, some different subject matter for your Instagram posts. Here we've got a food category. I also really love this photography category. So um, Here's a, here's a great example of a picture I'd like to download. And to download that picture, I'm just going to hit this icon right here, the down arrow in the circle. And HD Wallpapers will ask me if I want to download the fitted version, which is what we're currently seeing on our screen. And as you can see, that's cropped kind of weird. It doesn't show us the full picture of the bicycle. Or um, we can select the full version. I always go with the full version, um, you know, just to give myself the, the entire picture to manipulate and modify with, with when I am designing this Instagram post. 
And so if you have the free version of HD wallpapers, you're going to get these ads every time you go to download something. It's not a big deal. You just close the ad. And now this image has been saved to our camera roll. All right, guys. Um, I hope that you got some value from this video and um, you now are armed with some great knowledge of where to go out and get great images for your Instagram posts. Check back here. I'll be doing a follow-up video that's going to tell us, uh, it's going to where I'm going to show you how to use these images and put text and shapes and other design elements over these background images uh, to complete amazing eye-popping Instagram videos. Also, be sure to check our blog, mattandaprilfinley.com, for tips and tools to help you grow your business online. Take care.